Welcome back to the networking class. So we were speaking about uh, IP addressing style. Let us speak about uh, TCP IP ports. So we spoke about the IP addressing style. So let us now speak about the TCP IP ports. So we have already checked in our previous classes by knowing that we use netstat to know the ports to which our computer is talking to a foreign host or a foreign computer or an external host or a remote host however you call it okay so coming back to the ports so we have so many ports which is there in TCP IP so let us know the number so TCP IP supports 16 bit ports so how do you come into the conclusion 16 bit it is 16 to the power of 2 the number is 65536 so your computer can talk to 65536 computers externally through the ports that's great so each IP address on your uh, computer can communicate to 65536 okay so we have some of the common ports or the known ports so that starts from 0 to 1023 so you can see we have already put in the points here and we have noted down these points here okay so how do you check the ports so let's put in so we know the command it is netstat space dash n so why I have put an N is because so that it will not show the names here so it will resolve only the address the IP addresses so if you see here so the protocol is TCP TCP IP and the local address is 192 that is our computer's address and the port number is 1124 and the foreign address is the computer to which our computer is talking and the port number is 51746 so this is how a connection will be established through the 16 bit ports from our computer to an external computer so you can see the status as the state as established or some of the other things is time wait or last or synchronous sent or it is still synchronizing so these are the states that's great so when you open up a web browser and let us let's open up a web browser and put in a web address okay let us start with MSN it's loading up okay that's great it's loaded up now okay so now we have connected from our web browser to the local server that is the external server okay that is a web server because we are using a web communication here okay so how does this communication happen so I have just put in a note here so our web browser that is the Internet Explorer is using port 2000 and to communicate to the external client that is port 80 the external web server client is msn.com the web browser through which we are communicating is using port 2000 that is our computer is using 2000 to talk to MSN okay uh, and it is using port 80 since web server uses port 80 to communicate or uh, the port 80 is open on the web server so that's why we are using port 80 to communicate to that so in the same way we have so many uh, protocols which uses different ports so we have some of the protocols which has been noted down here so the NTP is the network time protocol the network time protocol uses port number 123 so if your server is synchronizing the right time here okay and to an external server that is the GPS or a radio server to synchronize the time it will use NTP protocol and the port is 123 so if you're using HTTPS so HTTPS is a secured website where it will ask for uh, username and password so let's take an example of uh, HTTPS colon mail dot accenture dot com 
so I'll say okay Do you see here now we have got an option to put in the username and password so HTTPS is a secure way of connecting so the HTTPS uses 443 port 443 to establish a connection from our computer to the external host that is the external host is mail.accenture.com okay that's great so we don't know the password we'll just close this so HTTP so HTTP we very well know that we just did it through msn.com so let's redo it to google.com let's say okay So whenever we do it to google.com so now it's accessing port number 80 it's talking to a web server that is google.com so that's why it's accessing port 80 before it was talking to the hypertext transfer protocol secure so that's why it was using port, port 443 now it is using hypertext transport protocol through to a web server so that's why it's using port 80 so then we have some more protocols that is point to point POP is point to point protocol it uses port number 110 SMTP is simple mail transport protocol it uses port number 25 and we have VNC services so VNC is connecting to an external computer and taking control of that computer VNC is virtual network computing so to establish a connection to access the remote computer completely and take control we use port number 5801 and in Linux computers so whenever it starts up graphics so for graphics we call it as X windows so it uses port 6000 and we have LDAP protocol uh, a part of an active directory in uh, windows so it uses port number 389 to talk to the uh, external hosts so we have port number 22 which has been given to SSH SSH is a secure shell to which we go ahead and connect to a remote computer and take control through Linux so SSH is used only in Linux and not in any Windows computer so by this we end, end the networking class thank you bye